And it's so hard because we become addicted to it. It's almost like cocaine. Our body is really does become addicted to it. Our, our gut gets to where it actually feeds off of it. Like we'll get yeast build up. It's just really hard to quit. I think we all know that. All right, guys, this video right here is gonna teach you some really cool stuff about how do you get rid of these sugar cravings, right? I think that's one of the most uh, difficult things for most patients that come to our office that we're trying to help them stop eating as much sugar or sweet things, or even just grains and pasta and rice, breads, things like that. And it's so hard because we become addicted to it. It's almost like cocaine. Our body is really does become addicted to it. Our, our gut gets to where it actually feeds off of it, like we'll get yeast build up. It's just really hard to quit. I think we all know that. Um, but what do you do? You know, what do you do other than just discipline, right? And I think I've learned over the years for a lot of people, discipline just doesn't work long term. Maybe, maybe 15 days, maybe 30 days, they can do a challenge, but long timeline, it's just not something that works. And so what I like to do is give them some support with other things in the beginning that can help curve or get rid of those sugar cravings, okay? So not only do you have a good non-inflammatory eating plan, we get rid of a lot of the, you know, pasta, rice, breads, grains, and sugars, things that are um, uh, uh, synthetic sweeteners, all those things. And then we help your body uh, not crave as much sugar in the beginning. While you're moving yourself out of a constant sugar burning mode, you're gonna crave a lot of sugar. So what I like to give people, and this is amazing, uh, an amazing herb that we actually use for, um, uh, for diabetic patients, people with blood sugar issues, and people that just crave sugar and are trying to get off that habit. It's called Jim Nima, right? Say that real quick with me, Jim Nima, right? That's uh, one of my favorite names, actually. Uh, one of my favorite herbs to say, but it's really good. It's a herb, it's a kind of a woody vine herb, and what it does is um, it blocks the sugar craving. So you can actually put it on your tongue, try to eat something sweet, and you won't even taste it. It really does an amazing job with that. It has some benefits like, um, obviously, blocking sugar cravings, but it also helps stabilize blood sugar. It helps with insulin levels to stabilize your insulin levels. It also can help with weight loss, as a side effect, but also just in terms of metabolism. It also can be very helpful in terms of uh, helping your body just kind of handle uh, the stresses and reducing your risks of heart disease by lowering triglyceride levels, lowering cholesterol levels. Uh, it's a very effective herb that can be used um, in the beginning. It's not something you want to use forever, and you can go back to it when you start to have those sugar cravings again, but it's something you can use for a month or two to get yourself used to not eating sugar again, and then if you ever feel like you have those cravings, you can go back to it. It's very helpful. So one of my favorite things to use right there is this herb right here is Jim Nema. Okay, so just a really quick sugar tip for you guys, and uh, hey, if you're doing the November sugar No Sugar Challenge, this is something you want to get. It will help you along the way, and also make it where it's not just a 30-day challenge. If you know anything about our, our clinic, the last thing we want is you to just no sugar for 30 days. We want you to kind of stick with that so you continue to be healthy because we know that we eat more sugar today than we ever have before in the history of human uh, mankind. I mean, it's drastically different than it was 50 years ago. And you know, this is something that just becomes a norm. We don't see all the sugars that we look. So go back to our video on um, where, you, where the different uh, things of different places you will find sugar, like ketchup, condiments, things like that, and start to read ingredients. And at the same time, Help yourself with the cravings with this uh, awesome herb named Jim Nima. All right. Hey, you guys have an awesome day. Tell your friends about Jim Nima. I just want to say that a thousand times. All right. See you guys later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to connect with us and learn more, we're constantly shooting information or shooting videos. We actually have a blog as well, and we have a website where you can learn so much more. If you want help with your health, you can actually connect with us, come into our clinic, or jump on a phone call with us and see if we can help you. To do that, go to the links below in the, in the information area and click those areas, and then you can move forward and see how we can actually address and help you with your health issues as well.